So the main focus, the main message in our Cinderella is, is a topic that I always ask myself in this period, where is the key, is the balance. So is the balance between feeling guilty or feeling not guilty to do something or to not do something, where is the key? One of the main key that we have in the piece that we are keeping like in the original Cinderella plot is the, um, the ball scene that in our case we call it more party scenes. And uh, the party scene, the ball scene, will repeat three times like in the original story. In these three times she will find a way to enjoy her moment, her freedom, but at the same time she will try to arrive at home on time to see the grandfather still alive. So again, this fact of feeling guilty or maybe not feeling guilty about doing or not doing something. So where is the balance? Where is the key? She should have go to the ball or she should have stay in two together with the grandfather at home. Main part that this making the choreography complete is also the set. What I like to always integrate into the story is to give a meaning to the set and is to give also an evolution to the set. In our Cinderella we're gonna have, um, I found inspiration into the home, so what are objects that we have at home, like uh, a table that in our case is split it in two parts and also I shift it like this, even more, however we're gonna put it, we understand this balance, this risk to go down or to come up. And uh, I also use a frame windows where those frame windows into the, uh, our evening will transform in so many things. For example, we have a, we call school section where those uh, windows will transform into school desk or into small places where the dancer they feel like isolated. In our bowl scene the uh, windows will turn into a baroque skirt. So it's really difficult to imagine how a square can turn into something that is more roundish but this is what we are working with the dancer to give this illusion of a stiff material that is made by wood into something that is, can be really aesthetically, really harmonic and really uh, like bringing the picture for the audience to relate it to something. Okay, I'm seeing a Baroque skirt or I'm seeing a desk or I'm seeing a place that isolate me. So this is the main key that every time I use in my choreography is to use the set as a part of the choreography. For the evening we are collaborating with uh, three artists and one of these three main artists is Eivada and uh, I really remember when I met him through a video call uh, and then the team sent to me all the videos that I could see. I was looking so much forward to understand how this uh, technology could work. And uh, when I went to visit him in his uh, atelier, I was so uh, fascinating to see how a technology turn into something so rhythmic, so uh, uh, colorful, so beautiful also to listen. Our first meeting brought us even more to find each other, how to connect with each other. And I'm so happy that um, he has all the elements that we find also in, in one apartment, a TV, a ventilator, and uh, it's even more everything connect to our home, the home of Cinderella, that by spacing out, by having a bit of magic, because we need a bit of magic also, uh, everything will have more uh, surrounding with the music, with the instrument, with the set, with the dancer, with the costume. So everything become uh, unique and uh, together. At the beginning 
when, when uh, I got the offer to come here in, to Tokyo, that by the way, it's my first time and I'm really like uh, fascinated by the culture. And uh, uh, when they asked me to create for a classical company, of course I was understanding which way I can bring my signature and my voice into a classical company. And uh, after the first week that we met with the company and with the Opto, in this case, the, the part of the company that is giving the contemporary key into this, the same field, it was really beautiful to see their reaction, how they were responding to what I was proposing to them. And of course, we came across by also bringing, I brought also to them something that can be played by their skills, by their quality. I'm asking them a lot of technique, I'm, I'm a lot of aesthetic in some moment, and uh, I believe that they will do a, a really special job on stage, and I'm so looking forward to see everything together.